Hello friends, Callie here today with a new tech tip video for you all. We are going to be learning about timers. Yes, exciting creatures, right? Timers. Things that happen on stream for you automatically so you don't have to worry about it and you can do what you do best. Entertain. Now, if you're using Streamlabs chatbot like I'm using, you can go to the timers box here. This also will work in many different chatbots. You don't have to use this one. You don't have to use Streamlabs. You can use many different programs, okay? Keep that in mind. All right, timers. Now, global settings really should depend on how many you want there to be, okay? So I have six. Now, here's the ones I have set up. I have where I post the Twitter and Twitch following. It puts a link to Discord. Talks about support, so you can interact with things on bits. Has all the sound effects clicked, so people know what to do for those. And then talks about a contest that I have on clips. And how to support my content. So, it really shows uh, lots of different things. And it goes in a cycle. So, first thing you can do is you can click add. You can name it whatever you want. Put whatever group you want it to be in, etc. Obviously, it's going to go in stream chat. It's going to go in there. So, you can type whatever you want. Let's go take a look at my first one that pops up here. So, you could use any publicly traded... I guess that's a term for that, isn't it? Sure, we'll go with that. Publicly traded emote on Twitch. So, if your bot account can use the emote, then you could use it in this right here. Okay? Pretty great. I know. I know. So... You can go to Twitch, pick any icons you want, copy the text version of that, put what you want. So for this, I have the little purple heart. If you like Kelly's content, consider following on Twitch and Twitter. Then put a link to Twitter, and it'll show up as a link in the chat. Pretty good stuff. Now, if you don't have the link show up correctly, you can go set them up as a VIP. The bot should be set as a moderator anyway, so it should be just fine. But if you have trouble with links, set them to one of that and it should work. Okay? Now, for Discord, again, same thing. You could put your Discord links. You could talk about external things. You could even put a whole list of commands and it won't use them either. So you could put, like, here's the ones that for followers they can use for free. Here's the one for subscribers. If you guys want to know how to make these commands, there's a video for that. Just click that card on screen. Just do it. And you'll find it. It's pretty great. Highly recommend setting this up. Anyway, so I have six. So what I do is go to settings. Okay. Alright. So I have every 12 minutes... It's going to go off, which means everything is going to cycle around in 72 minutes, okay? Now, I make it to as zero minimum chat lines because every 12 minutes I want this to fire off. May not have a lot of people going, may have a ton of chat, well, I don't know. I just know I want to keep my cadence of every 72 minutes I want this to go off. Now, you can set this longer, you can put more chat lines. But I like to always make sure that irregardless of what the chat's going on, I want to have these messages go off. So, so, that's how you could set it up. You could do it yourself. You could have less, you could have more. The more you have, it's obviously more things that you can show your chat, have them work on. So, if you are interested in any of these other things, uh, feel free to let me know. Especially this clip contest thing. Uh, if you're interested in learning how to set one of those up, I actually have a program that will automatically post Twitch clips to Discord. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments down below. And take a look at these other streaming videos that might be helpful to you. Till next time, this is Callie. Thanks for your time. Have an awesome day. Bye for now.